Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with a one box break of 2021 Topps Definitive Collection Baseball. One box, pick your team number 22 from jazbeescasebreaks.com. If you're watching live, the next one is up on the website right now. So go check it out. All right, so here are the people who bought their teams straight up. Thank you. See the double last spot mojo star next to Jonathan's name right there. Thanks, everybody. And you can notice that there's some RNB, some random number blocks. We did some RNB randomizers. Here are the results for this group of teams right there. And here's the second one right there. Both are in separate videos. So if you want to watch the randomizer itself, they'll be in separate videos. So I'll leave that one next to me right here. And here it is. There's definitive. And so break 22 is from a fresh case. All right, so there's boxes one, two, and three, just so we know that they're from the same case. Let's select a die. We're gonna select that one right there. And we'll go one, two, three, four, five, six on the dice roll. One, two, three, four, and five, six. And it's six. Five, six. And we'll save these for next time. All right, fingers crossed, everybody. Some pretty nice stuff. Only eight hits per box, six autograph cards. The monster potential out of here is quite high. If you're lucky enough to end up with a hit. All right, you can see the stack of cards up above you. Take one sponge down. You can see some of the cards right there. And there's a little uh, definitive little card right there. So I'll keep that on top. First one is for the Angels, Anthony Rendon. And he's hitting you up with the uh, with Colossians chapter three verse two. Letters to the Colossians. Colossians. Now this is numbered seventeen out of fifty, so we're gonna go by that digit right there, number seven, Angel seven, Daniel Katz. Nice Anthony Rendon. Casey Mize, rookie auto. Casey Mize, that's for the Tigers. Jonathan Arnaldi picked up the Tigers straight up. Now, I think he actually had a start today, Jonathan, because he's on my fantasy team, I'm pretty sure. He went 6.2 innings, given up three earned runs, a few strikeouts. He, oh, and the Tigers are up 4-3 in the bottom of the ninth. They may get a, uh, he may get a, get a win out of this depending on when those runs were scored. Former number one overall pick as well. The gold frame is Big Mac, Mark McGuire, seven out of 30. That's Steve Locke with the Oakland A's. There you go, Steve. I love the gold frames that pop out of the definitive collection as well.
Next is another Oakland A, 1 out of 10, Dennis Eckersley. His defining season, 1992. Is that, it doesn't have any coffee on the back. Is that his defining season? It must have. He's ha I feel like he's had a lot of defining seasons. All right, standby. Nothing else is sold out after this, so we can take a little bit of time during our, our during our breaks. Um, 1992. So he went seven and one in 1992, finished 65 games, had 51 saves. That's a career best 51 saves, and that was his Cy Young year and MVP year. He won the Cy Young and the MVP as a closer. Wow. In MVP voting, he was the clear winner ahead of Jack McDowell and Roger Clemens. In MVP voting, um, yeah, he was he was the clear winner ahead of Kirby Puckett and Joe Carter. That is a great defining season for the X. Steve Locke. We got Rod Carew, Angels edition, 48 out of 50, Jersey and Auto. Again, the Angels are a number block team. So Angels 8 is going to be Manny Diaz. There you go, Manny. Very nice. We got a few more to go. I think there might just be relic onlys on the bottom. A dual autograph. Andy Pettit and Roy Oswald, two out of 35, two color, dual relic, and dual on-card autograph for Matt Medlin and the Houston Astros. That is delightful. Dual autos, especially on-card, are always sweet. The final two. Ooh. That's awesome. So one of one. Now I'm not sure where this letter. They must have put the wrong letter in. There's no O in Justin Verlander, or is that a number? It says the definitive nameplate. Might want to ask Tops about that. But this is still a Tiger, this Tiger's edition of Justin Verlander, Ver, Verlander, going to Jonathan Rinaldi, last spot mojo, strikes again, and all aboard the Big Hit Express. Woo -woo. And the final one here is another relic. It's Nolan Arenado, 7 out of 50. Bit of his uh, Rockies purple pinstripe with the MLB.com slash authentication sticker. That is, if you want to look that up, VS863603. And you can see what date this jersey came from. Then you can go to like baseballreference.com and see uh, what it's part of. Or what, what he did that game, by the way. Sorry, I was reading the chat. Is it part of his number? Well, it, it shouldn't be. First of all, I don't think Verlander had a zero in his number. I think he's he's been 59, 35, and 35. Is that a D? Maybe it is a D. Maybe I can't see if there's like an angle right there that'll make it look more like a D. So that might be possible. Yeah, maybe that is a D. That, that makes a lot more sense. Well, I don't know. Is it part of Detroit? It, it's possible, but they say nameplate relic, which I'm assuming it's his name. So I don't know. And how how often how often uh, yeah how often is uh, do they use red in their numbers? Gray unis with red? 
letters? Oh, it was Oliver Soria with the Rockies, by the way. All right. Thanks, everybody. That was definitive. We've got another two boxes from this case in the store. Pick your teams. Go and get it. Let's check it out. And let's pop open some more hits. And maybe, maybe there's an MLB logo man in here somewhere. There's cut autos. All sorts of fun stuff. So thanks for watching. Thanks for breaking with us. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. And I'll see you next time for the next definitive break. Bye.